Hello, I am Dr. Arpita. I work at the Retina Department in Narayan Netralaya. And today we will be talking about the use of vitrectomy in proliferative diabetic retinopathy, also known as PDR. Now let's start with what exactly do we mean by proliferative diabetic retinopathy. Now when you have diabetes, your body is unable to use or store sugars properly. As a result of this, blood vessels all over the body, including the ones in the eye, especially the retina, get affected. Now the retina is a light sensitive structure present inside the eye that is responsible for your vision. In proliferative diabetic retinopathy, abnormal blood vessels grow over the retina. These abnormal blood vessels tend to bleed and scar and result in something known as retinal detachment, which is nothing but separation of the retina from its correct or its original position. Now, if your surgeon has advised you vitrectomy, it would mean that you have bleeding inside the eye, also known as vitreous hemorrhage or possibly a retinal detachment. Now, vitrectomy is a surgical procedure. It is performed in the operating theatre, usually on an outpatient basis. During this procedure, your surgeon, with the help of an operating microscope, uses very fine instruments to gain access into the eye and clear out any blood or abnormal tissue that is present and helps to reposition the retina. At the end of the surgery, the surgeon may choose to either inject gas or oil into the eye. Now, gas usually disappears on its own in a few weeks' time. On the other hand, silicone oil requires a second procedure for its removal. Also, at the end of the surgery, your surgeon may give you instructions on how you may need to rest or lie down. Now, these instructions are very important and should be followed. Just like any other procedure, vitrectomy too has its risks and complications. Now, if there is more that you would like to know about the procedure or its complications, do not hesitate to ask your retinal surgeon. Thank you.